Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I kind of went like hella glam with the eye makeup, but I'm loving it. I haven't used glitter in a long time and I am just feeling it. So today we are testing out the new Dior Skin Forever Undercover Concealer. And this shade that I have here is, let me take it out here. It's uh, 060, so shade 60. And um, this, I got this from the, um, I believe I got it from Sephora, and it does retail for $34. Now, I'm gonna read for you guys what it claims to do, and this is just from the description on the Sephora website. So it says, it's a high pigment, a waterproof concealer that hides and neutralizes imperfections all day long. It's supposed to be a hydrating liquid formula, and it's supposed to not crease or crack, and it's supposed to stay comfortable all day. So that's what we'll be putting to the test. I'm actually really excited. The shade looks like it's going to be really good for me. It doesn't look like it's going to be super like highlighting or anything like that. Just like a normal like cover up the dark circles kind of thing. So I will be using a different concealer in my kind of high points to you know highlight my face and all that kind of jazz. So just this will be going underneath the skin. So just as a disclaimer before we get started, on my channel I've tested out a lot of affordable and drugstore concealers. So if you're somebody that's not into high-end skincare and you will never try it out and you're not interested, that's not your thing, then go ahead and be sure to check out those other reviews in my beauty products reviews playlist. Now, if you are into high-end skincare or you are just curious and want to see how this product will work out, then you're in the right place and keep on watching. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my face first. I want to show you guys how I kind of set this concealer up for success if it is a good concealer. <laughs> we don't know, this might be a failure. But I am going to prime my face with the Tarte uh, Clean Slate Smoothing Primer. And this is definitely a smoothing and mattifying primer. Now for some extra oil protection, I'm using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and I'm almost out of my sample size, so that means I gotta go back in and uh, purchase a full size very, very soon. Now I'm going to use my Smashbox 2-in-1. Uh, it's the Studio Skin Shaping Foundation. If you saw my review recently, you know I love this and I just can't stop using it. And now I'm smoothing it out with my Moda brush. Okay, so now that I've laid the foundation and I have a good base, now it is time for the Dior Skin um, undercover concealer. Now I've got my beauty blender, that's what I'm gonna use today, and this beauty blender, you guys, is clinging on for dear life, okay? Like, I ripped it in the middle, but I mean, it still works, right? So I'm gonna keep using it. <laughs> so this has a dope foot applicator, just like, you know, a lot of other concealers, like the NARS Radiant Creamy, stuff like that. So I'm just going to apply it normally under the eyes. The applicator made this super easy to apply and I actually found out that this concealer blended out really nicely and it was very lightweight as well. Wow, I mean first off before I even set it, I think it did a pretty damn good job of covering my under eye circles. So um, I'm gonna go set it and then I'll be back after I finish up my makeup to talk about my first impressions. And of course you guys gotta know, I'm going to do a check-in later on in the evening just to show you guys if it creased, if it just looks kind of janky at the end of the day, you know, all that jazz. So keep watching. Okay guys, so I finished up the rest of my makeup and I also threw on this hat because uh, this is a half wig so I'm trying to cover up the front. <laughs> but it looks good, right? So okay, back to the concealer. I really, really, really like it. Now let me just tell you, um, this is a very natural looking concealer full coverage, 
at least I think so. And I think it looks really, really nice. I want to make sure that this doesn't crease. So for those of you guys looking to purchase it later, you know what to expect. So I will be back with a, you know, check in. However, first thoughts, I love it. It's awesome, totally worth the $34, but that's all gonna depend on what it looks like later on. I will say it's really, really easy to blend. It looks beautiful after you put your um, setting powder. I did use my Laura Mercier Medium Deep Powder under my eyes, so it looks awesome. And my under eye area looks smooth, no crocodile, nasty looking skin under there. Um, all around um, A plus on my part. So. I'm gonna be back and then um, we'll talk about things a little bit more in depth. Okay, so real quick guys, I wanted to do a concealer comparison of the Dior Skin in the shade 060. And this one here is the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Deep. Don't worry about the tone, I know it's a little bit lighter. I know how to correct that with my setting powders. This one here is the NARS Soft Matte in the shade Amande. And this one here is MAC Pro Longwear in the shade NW40. You can see that the Dior skin is a lot darker than the other ones. So it is almost eight hours later. And so I do wanna talk about this concealer. So first up, it claims that it does not crease. I do have very tiny minimal creasing under my eyes. Now honestly, the only way that you're actually gonna see this is if you get really close to me and I look up and you can kind of see in the folds right under my eyes, that's where the creasing has occurred. Now I'm just gonna say it is very minimal, but the fact that they claim that this is creaseless or that it won't crease, I just have to point that out that yes, you know, you're spending $34, but this will crease a little bit, especially if you're somebody like me who does have like deep kind of folds or deep fine lines right under your eyes, you will start to notice that. Now, if you are able to bake your under eyes and it doesn't look cakey, then go ahead and do that. That probably will help. But for me, I can't bake right in those areas because I will look so dry under there and it is not flattering, trust me. I do think that this concealer does look really pretty underneath the eyes. It is full coverage. In person, you can definitely see hints of my dark circles. Um, I would kind of equate it to at least a little bit on par with the Tarte Shape Tape, that's about it, but it is not as thick. It is more lightweight than the Shape Tape, so if you find that you don't like how thick the Tarte Shape Tape is, this is probably a really good alternative for that. I do want to note overall that personally I would like to see more of a better selection for deeper skin tones for this concealer. I got lucky with guessing my correct color, but you know, I just find that they could do a little bit more with that, especially considering that it's Dior, and a lot of luxury makeup brands usually have a better selection. Usually, not always. So honestly, I know you guys wanna know, is it worth it? Should you spend your coins on it? Do you need it? Now, do you need it? No, probably not. I think that there are a lot of other better concealers out there, um, more affordable ones that I've reviewed, and also I think that the Tarte Shape Tape, the NARS Soft Matte, those are all ones that are pretty full coverage and they are less expensive. So, you know, I think unless you're really a big Dior fan or you are really into high-end luxury makeup products and you like to collect makeup, then sure, you can definitely get this. But I don't see this as a need-to-have item. Honestly, I mean, I'm still gonna use it because I bought that. But I don't think that you need it and I probably wouldn't repurchase it considering how many other amazing concealers are on the market. So that's just my two cents. It does still look nice after eight hours. I will give it that. That's a big plus for me and my book. So for those of you guys that work really long hours, I think this is something you can count on, but you absolutely must set it well, especially if you have a lot of fine lines underneath your eyes. I think it's a great concealer, but I don't think it's an absolute must have, just a 
nice to have in your collection item. So let me know guys, what are your thoughts? Do you think it's worth it? Would you spend your coins on it? Y'all know that I gotta know. So leave your thoughts and your perspectives down in the comment section. As always, I love you guys and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye!